This week, you are going to be starting the Food Diary Analysis Project Part 1. I'm going to be explaining in detail what I expect of you for this part of the project. So for the Food Diary Analysis Project, what you're going to be doing is analyzing your current diet. You are going to be recording everything you eat and drink for three consecutive days. Okay, so what you're seeing on your screen is a sample template that you can use to record your food. Okay, so what you're going to be doing is using some form of a template. One exactly like this would be fine, however, you do not have to use this exact template. So you would need to have the date, okay, notice at the top it says day one. Um, and then along the left hand side I have breakfast, snack, lunch, snack, dinner, snack, and water amount. Okay, so what you're going to be doing is for each meal recording all of that information. Okay, so you'll need to be very specific. Notice that I have arrows pointing towards the specific. Okay, so for example, if at lunch you have a turkey sandwich with lettuce, cheese, tomato, and mayonnaise, and mustard. Okay, you need to make sure that you are listing all of those ingredients in that lunch column. So it, as you're looking at your screen, you can see that I put some images down so that you can understand that it needs to be listed separately. By doing this, it's going to really help you in parts two and three of the food diary analysis project. Okay, if you do not write down the foods specifically in this part, you're going to find it much more challenging in parts two and parts three. Okay, so please be specific. Um, notice that I put in three options for snack, okay, and I also wrote that it's not necessary for everyone. Um, if you are somebody who eats a snack, you're simply going to just record what you're eating for a snack. If you are not someone who eats a snack, then you'll just leave those areas blank. Okay, however, if you skip a meal like breakfast, lunch, or dinner, you must explain why. So if you look next to the dinner column, I wrote that out specifically. If you skip a meal for whatever reason, you simply need to write down why you skipped a meal. Okay, but you do not need to do that for the snacks. Okay, um, at the very bottom of this template, I have a separate column for water. Okay you are going to be listing the amount of plain water that you are intaking on those three days. Okay, you're going to do your best to estimate this. Okay, so for example, one standard water bottle that like you'll get out of a vending machine or that maybe mom or dad buys for you from the store is 16 ounces. Okay, so do your best to estimate how much plain water you are drinking every day. If you have something like a coffee or a can of soda, okay, or a tea or milk, you are going to simply put those items next to the meal that you had them. So if you look at this screen, you can see that I put a coffee next to breakfast. I put the can of soda in lunch. Um, so you want to make sure all other items that you're drinking, you are listing next to that specific meal. Water is the only thing that's going to be listed separately, okay? One thing I don't want you to forget is to record any exercise that you're doing on these three same days. Okay, so whatever three days you're logging your food, you're going to also log your exercise. This would include things like you're on a sports team or on an activity team, dance team, whatever it may be. You're going out to play a game of basketball with friends or, you know, on the weekend you're playing, you know, football with friends. Whatever it is, I want you to make sure that you are recording that exercise because that's a very important part of this project as well. You can contact me through Canvas with any questions that you, that you might have regarding this part of the project or for any further questions that you might have, but contact me directly through Canvas. That way you can assure that I will get back to you as soon as possible.